And now, the Knights of Our Lives. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Knights of Our Lives storytelling in the age of coronavirus to what our theme for tonight's show is, which is grateful. We will have all true stories about being grateful. And as always, we have Adam Wade. I, we can hold applause for Adam. <laughs> he needs to get that applause earned. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, always grateful for his friendship, Adam Wade. I am grateful. I'm grateful for the show and I am grateful to you, David. Um, you're, you're, the, you're the best. Thank you. Uh, um, I want to start tonight um, talking about something um, very passionate uh, that I'm passionate about and uh, it's Hoboken. Now I've been here 18 years and a lot of things are going on. A lot of things have gone on the past um, nine, 10 months. I know that. Um, but um, in the time um, since all this has been going on, um, I've been grateful to have Hoboken. And I just want to talk about a couple places in Hoboken that are dear in my heart. Um, and I want to start with um, Little City Books. Little City Books. I know Michael's watching tonight. Um, Michael saw me perform at Little City Books during their, their festival that they had, a literary festival. It was my first ever literary festival I had to perform in. And uh, Kate and the gang at Little City books they're the best and they have a little uh, nook up in uh uptown now where the way coffee shop is but they're uh first in bloomfield you go to um little city books they got just a wide array of, of books and just nice people working there um when my brother comes once a year um in the hoboken one of the things he always says is adam uh, let's go to the bookstore can we go to the cool bookstore I go, oh yeah sure Matt, we'll go so we, we always have that's part of my brother's trip um, and we we have a great time. Um, and then after Hoboken Hot Bagels, I got to talk a little bit about Hoboken Hot Bagels. Rick and the gang at Hoboken Hot Bagels. I'll tell you right now, I've had a lot of bagels in the tri-state area, but I've never had one as good as the everything bagel at Hoboken Hot Bagels. And you go in there and they're always, no matter, like you can go off times, the bagels and, and like they don't heat them up, they're, they're just warm. They're always warm. So, and you can take them home, that two and a half block walk home. I put it, it's still warm. I cut it, it's still warm inside, still fresh. So Hoboken Hot Bagels, I, I love you guys. Uh, you do a great job. I love to get my little plastic bottle of cranberry juice with my bagel. Yeah, they know, they know what I like to get. And um, yeah, so they're, they're just good people. They got a great sign, the sign of the signage, they got a neon sign, bagels hot um so they're, so they're really good um and then this is a tough one to talk about this is a tough one to talk about i've been getting my hair cut by a woman named yaslin now um for over 17 years i've been in hoboken 18 years and as you can see if you look i don't know if it's a close-up here um i'm losing my hair i'm, I'm going bald folks and it's, it's 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 reality and um it's unfortunate because as much as i love my monthly visits to yaslin like i i don't need I don't need to get my hair cut anymore. I, I could cut it my, myself now. I bought a little razor for $32 and I've been, I've been cutting my hair, doing a pretty good job. I wanna have a little hair, but it, 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 I'm trying, it's a new look. Um, so I miss, I miss Yoslin. I miss also Peter and Adam and the gang had Hoboken hair, just like a great group of people. I love Hoboken hair so much. And I'll tell you how much I like them. I might buy, I might purchase a toupee a toupee that's a little bit long. I think of like a, uh, like the Death Leopard, like lead singer from 1984. I'm going to get that type of toupee and I'm going to go in just for a little trim. And each time I go in, she can just trim a little bit. I'll pay, I'll pay the money for the haircut. I don't mind and I'll tip big, but just to get to go in and, and be with my friends. Um, so it, it's, it, I'm at a, at a hair crossroads right now, but that being said, does not if, if like if I had a head of hair like our friend David Martin here, I would be going, I'd be going once a week to, to Hoboken so I could get my hair uh, trimmed nice and if I had a nice head of hair like and that's a nice compliment David. But um, much like uh, my friends, uh, is it Jason Stidham? Uh, yeah, we, you know, we're, 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 we're dealing with this. So, um, so it's something I'm going through right now and I feel like with the beard, um, it, it's, I got, it, it's, it's, it's working. 
well, I'll look at the chat after and see, see what people are saying. And then now the what, one of the big ones, it might be a little side one. I'll, I'll do it just a couple quick hits. Furies and the uh, Italian tuna mozzarella on Fridays. I love you. Uh, we go to Wise Eyes to get my eyes. These are the actual Wise Eye glasses. I'm wearing them right now. Fourth Street and Washington. They're going to be moving out, across the street down into the middle of the block next to um, Luis and Jerry's Tavern. So I'm excited about your move. So Eduardo and the gang, uh, I'm grateful to you guys. Um, Giovanni's. Giovanni's Pizza. Giovanni's Pizza. I'll tell you one thing about Giovanni's Pizza. I love you guys. You got to get it fresh. If it's there for a while, but if it's fresh out of the oven and they got the eggplant parm pizza, to die for, to die for. But you got to get it right out of the oven. Buy one. Buy a whole one. It's worth the 10 bucks. Get it out of the oven. Don't get, I love you, Giovanni's. I love you. I told you I love you. Don't get the old pizza. So those are my quick hits. Now I'm going to end the grand finale, Court Street Restaurant. Court Street Restaurant. How great is this restaurant? How great is this restaurant? My brother comes to visit before all this stuff happened. Once a year, comes in August, okay? Comes for two nights, three days, two nights. Quick, quick. He's, he's a busy guy. He doesn't have a lot of time, but he makes it two nights. Both nights. Now we live in the we live in an area where there's a lot of restaurants: Hoboken, Jersey City, Manhattan, Brooklyn. Both nights we eat a Court Street restaurant. We and he loves the bread. Juan he always gets them the bread. Dan gets them the extra waters. It's it's one wonderful. We get Seamus there. We got uh, Teresa. We got uh, Maton. We got Jeff and Artie. We got a lot of great people there. Artie just left, but he might be coming back once in a while, just so we know. And we got Bubba new to the place. We got Zanda, okay? We got a lot of great people. David Martin actually comes to visit Hoboken. David Martin, where does David Martin go? Court Street, I'm just saying, Court Street, they're great, the chicken fingers, the mozzarella sticks, but they're all great there. And um, I, I, just, I just want to say, like, I'm grateful to all of these places um, you make Hoboken so great. Um, and I hope everybody, um, you know, during this tough times, you support the, the, these businesses because they're the best. They're the best. And I'm, uh, they, they're, they, they, I, for me, I'm a small kid from New Hampshire. And when I moved to New York, one of the advice, uh, my college professor, um, Mr. Kellum told me, he said, uh, Adam, create a community around yourself. You know, little neighborhoods, you know everybody, get to know them. He goes, that's the key to surviving in the big city. And, you know, Mr. Callum, I did it. And uh, with my little sport coat right now, Hoboken in this little community, um, I'm grateful to you. So thank you. Thank you, Adam. Um, have, you, have you been mistaken for Jason Statham on the streets of Hoboken yet? Have have people thought you were the transporter? Not yet, but you know, I mean, I'm I am wearing my mask all the time. Yeah. So I think when, when we have to when we get to when we don't need masks, I think I'm going to get that a lot. No, I think yeah, I think I, I think you will too. Um, or the Rock, either Jason. Yeah. Or the rock. True. Yeah, I could see you being mistaken. You Probably. smell what the Wade's cooking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you smell what the Wade's. Cooking. I have been to Little City Books. Uh, Adam? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did we did we distract you from the show? Um, I so apologize that this show is going on as your eyes and attention were elsewhere. What are you looking at? I just, I just got a nice message from, from someone that said, that said, great job. Was it Jason Statham? Maybe. Wow. Sorry, okay. sorry, I'm focused on you. I'm focused on yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> were you focused on the show? I know that you just told your story, but we still have to do a little bit of business. So I just require your attention for only a few more minutes. Uh, I've been to Little City Books, which is great. Uh, that's a really wonderful bookstore. Um, and yeah, Court, Squ Court Square. I mean, that's- Court Street, Court Street. Court Street, Court Street, Court, Court And you Square. had like a meal one time and you had a sandwich the other time and it was good, you know, so you, you did like a-, a well, I've, I've, Yeah, it was a, it was a diverse eating experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Adam, last but not least, this definitely seemed like a ploy for you to get free food and free books 
and you were basically using our show as uh, a billboard and advertisement for all of these establishments. Um, and I'm anyway. I'm, I'm, I, I did it to support. I'm not looking for anything. For, for everything, for anything. I mean, instead you're, you're bending over backwards. The pizza here is wonderful. This place is great. This place is great. So next time you go into those establishments, you know they're going to give you something for free. Okay. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, if you scratch that's my back and you and, and and I scratch yours, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's all right. That's I'd be grateful. That's what nights of our lives has been reduced to now. It's I'd be grateful. I'd be grateful for a free book. I mean, I, I mean, I'm my. I got four pages left on my moleskin little city books. I got four four pages left. <laughs> just, saying, just saying, just saying. I'll be in Tuesday. I'm gonna post this video Monday. Be in Tuesday. Well, on that very generous note, in this time of Thanksgiving, and Adam, you, if anybody, you are embodying it right here, right now, asking for all these free things from these good people. One last I'm thing that I'm grateful for. Are struggling during this time. Yeah. I'm, I'm, grateful, I'm, I'm grateful to Hoboken's premier entertainment magazine, HMAG. Uh, July, August 2015. This is over five years. We've, we've been doing this bit, everybody, for five years. Adam, can you hold it up just a little bit higher? Adam Wade, the most authentic man in Hoboken. Um, he's looking very, very tough. That's the Hoboken Magazine, Lifestyle Magazine. Um, and this is, you know, normally is, is then just where I rip into Adam about him being not authentic, all this good stuff. Um, Adam, are you going to show one picture of you? Yeah, that's Adam and looking at Cork Street in front of Salad. I got so, a salad no, and, I, a, and a glass of water. And a glass of water. No, that is, I felt like that was a still from Transporter 2. Uh, because that's something Jason Statham would do. Um, great photos by Craig Wallace, too. That's a plug. I know. <laughs> this is the most plugged show of all time. So, on that note, we're going to end our show. Thank you, everybody. Thank Have you. a great night.